Hi, this is Rob. I'm going to show you how to solve a quadratic equation on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator by using the Polynomial Root Finder app on the calculator. Let's solve the following quadratic equation. x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Press the apps key here. We want to use the Polynomial Root Finder located at number 8. Go down to number 8 here. Press enter. This is the main menu. We want to use number 1, Polynomial Root Finder. Press Enter. These are the default settings for the Polynomial Root Finder. The only thing you may need to change is the first one, order. This is the order of the polynomial. The order is going to be equal to the highest exponent of the x values of our equation. In this case, our equation is x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. The highest exponent on our x values is 2, on the x squared. So in this poly root finder mode, we need to make sure 2 is chosen for order. It is. All the other settings here are OK, but I'll briefly cover them. The next line down, real, for real numbers. We want this one for our equation. To the right is a a plus bi for complex numbers. A complex number is a real number plus or minus imaginary number. If you know you're going to work with imaginary numbers with your quadratic equations, then you need to select this a plus bi. If your order of your polynomial is 4 or higher, you will have no choice but to work with complex numbers. For example, go back up to order and choose 4 as your order. See how real is redlined out and the complex number is highlighted? I'll change this order back to 2 and go back down to the real line. To the right of the complex number symbol is re caret theta i. This is the exponential form of complex numbers. The next line down is auto and decimal, DEC. The auto mode should determine to give the answer in a fraction or decimal. The DEC will give the answer in a decimal format. The next line down, normal, scientific notation, and engineering notation. Scientific notation is the way of expressing numbers that are too big or too small to be conveniently written in decimal form. For quadratic equations, use normal. The next line down is the float. Float is how many places past the decimal point you want your answer to display. The next line down is radian or degree. Keep it on the default setting of degree. On the bottom of the window you see these rectangular buttons or tabs. Main, Help, Next. To access these buttons or tabs, they correspond to the keys below in the first row. Thus this Main tab corresponds to this Y equals key here. And this Help tab corresponds to this trace key here. And the next tab corresponds to this graph key here. Now we are ready to enter our quadratic equation. Go to the next tab here by pressing this graph key. This screen pops up and this is where we enter our equation. The calculator shows a previous equation that I was working with. To clear it out, press the clear tab here by pressing the zoom key. Our quadratic equation was x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Our coefficient on the x squared is 1, and we already have a 1 displayed, so just press the enter key. Here we choose a plus or minus, and our equation is a positive 2x, so press the enter key. Enter a 2, and press the enter key. Here we need a minus 8, so press the minus sign, and press the enter key. Enter our 8 and press the Enter key. Now we're ready to solve the equation by going to the Solve tab by pressing this Graph key. And here's the answer. x equals 2 and x equals negative 4. From here, if you want to enter another equation to solve, then go to this Coefficient tab here by pressing the Zoom key. Now you can enter your next equation. I'm going to go back to the previous screen. Going to the Store tab here will give you different options of saving the information of this equation. Go to the Store tab by pressing this Trace key here. You can save the coefficients of this equation to a list. You can save the equation to the Y equals screen 
so that you can see the graph of the equation later, or you can save the roots of the equation. The roots are the answers we just calculated, the x equals 2 and the x equals negative 4. The most common is to save the polynomial to the y equals screen, so we'll choose that one. Highlight store polynomial to y equals and press the enter key. Here it stored the equation to the y2. Go to quit by pressing the y equals key here. I'm going to get out of this polynomial root finder app and go to the y equals screen. To get out of this app, go to the main menu tab by pressing the y equals key here and then go down to 6, quit app and press the enter key. Now we are back to the home screen. Press the y equals key. There at y equals 2 is our equation. We're going to graph it by pressing the graph key here. But when we press the graph key, it will graph the two equations that we have here. The y1 will be graphed in blue color and the y2, our equation, will be graphed in red. And there is our equation graphed in red. Okay, that is it. That is how to use the Polynomial Root Finder app to solve a quadratic equation on the TI-84 Plus CE Graphing Calculator. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.